Constitutional Court Concord yesterday released a detailed 137-page judgment, upholding President Nangagwa's victory in last year's harmonized elections, saying the petition by MDC Alliance lead Mr Nelson Chamisa was premised on bald and unsubstantiated rigging claims. Chief Justice Luke Malaba, who heard the petition with eight other judges, found no fault with the conduct of the election. Mr Chimisa, who lost the election to President Nangagwa, challenged the validity of the election which he claimed was rigged in favor of President Nangagwa. Mr Chimisa raised a host of allegations, including alleged vote buying, ghost polling stations, denial of 40 teachers of the right to vote, skewed media coverage by the public media and inflation of figures, among others. Chief Justice Malaba said the onus to prove the irregularities lay with Mr Chimisa, but he failed to convince the court. In the final analysis, the court found that the applicant failed to place before it clear, sufficient, direct and credible evidence to prove the irregularities he leveled against the commission. He also failed to prove the allegation of electoral malpractices he leveled against the first respondent. The applicant did not prove the alleged irregularities as a matter of fact. It would be unnecessary in the circumstances to ask and answer the question whether the alleged irregularities affected the result of the presidential election, quote ruled Chief Justice Malaba. The court ruled that the people of Zimbabwe spoke through the election, and the court could not interfere with the voice of the people. It is not for a court to decide elections, it is the people who do so. It is the duty of the courts to strive in the public interest to sustain that which the people have expressed as they will," quote he said. In terms of Section 93 for a comma of the Constitution, the court declared President Nangagwa winner of presidential elections held on 30 July 2018. He said the failure by Mr Chimisa and his lawyers to produce primary evidence substantiating the rigging claims was fatal to the case. The best evidence in this instance would have been the contents of the ballot boxes themselves. That is the primary source evidence. Evidence of the contents of the ballot boxes compared to the announcement by the Electoral Commission and the evidence within the applicant's knowledge would have given the court a clear picture of electoral malpractices, if any had occurred. The applicant needed more evidence than the mere admission by Zek on the inaccuracy of the mathematical figures, quote said the Chief Justice. The court also found that Mr Chimis's failure to send polling agents to all polling stations also deprived him of the much-needed evidence to prove his claims. Desperation on the part of Mr Chimisa, the court said, resulted in him fabricating evidence in a failed bid to mislead the judges. The court ruled that Mr Chimisa deliberately lied to the court, that some V11 forms were only signed but not populated. Zek proved through the V11 forms that the allegations that some V11 were signed but not populated was false, and there appears to have been a deliberate fabrication of evidence with an intention to mislead the court, quote, he said. Chief Justice Malaba said Mr Chimisa failed to establish the alleged infractions by both Zek and President Nangakwa in the conduct of the election. The court held that the allegations against President Nangagwa were general in nature and unsubstantiated. It was also the court's finding that Mr Chimisa lodged his application out of time, but the court just condoned the violation due to the importance of the case.